Ah, hello. You've caught me looking at the guidebook to Nyman's. It's a National Trust property. Where is it? It's in West Sussex, south of Crawley. And, you know, I get inquiries about places like this as to where they are, how to get there, what to expect when they get there, and perhaps a, a bit of technique thrown in for good measure as well. So, this has given me the idea for a start of a new series of photo mini guides. So, for convenience, let's start with Nyman's and go and have a closer look and see what we can find out. So, coming with me. Nyman's is five miles south of Crawley in the Sussex Weald and can be reached from the A23 Expressway. That's the road down to Brighton, by the way. Just follow the brown signs at Hand Cross. There is a car park at the property or take service bus number 273 from Crawley Bus Station that is near the railway station and a light at Hand Cross. Nyman's is owned by the National Trust. Mainly, it is a garden. There is a house, but it suffered a disastrous fire in 1947, effectively leaving just a shell. The garden was also a victim of the Great Storm of 1987. Now, some rooms escaped the blaze, so let's take a look there first. No tripods or flash inside National Trust properties, so I relied on the image stabilizer in the OM5 for handheld sharp images. I use the 12-45 Pro lens. Because other people and photographers are milling about, I kept the camera on, yes, program, and saved to RAW so that I could carry out adjustments at home. I also kept the ISO on 200 for best quality, essential if you are into publishing, so don't muck about with it unless it is absolutely essential. The garden is in sections. There is also a separate wild garden and woodland, but the formal areas are likely to be the greatest photographic attraction. I like the Knot Garden near the Dovecot, backed by glimpses of the house. The best views of the whole house, including the ruins, is from the Tennis Lawn and Sunk Garden. East of the house is a broad walkway between an avenue of trees that has always attracted my attention. But there is much more that would take a whole day, so why not? take lunch or just a coffee, perhaps something stronger in the restaurant. Depending on how busy it is, so avoid weekends and school holidays if you can, the various sections of the garden allow more time to be creative. I even did a bit of close-up, not my forte. Now weather can be a major decider. Bright sunny days are best for the big view, but close-ups, now they respond better on dull days or in shaded areas because of the absence of shadow that can so easily obscure detail. But beware of wind. Because of lack of depth of field, close-ups will not keep in sharp focus. So, it is a garden for all weathers. And, when wet, there is always the house, or indeed, the restaurant. 